He said, I don't have a lot of time for this. Can you tell me exactly where this is? And if you write the story properly. I did not want to do this today. In fact, there was nothing more that I wanted to do than be a POS today and just lay down on the couch. However, we're in a challenge and we no longer subscribe to those ideals anymore. So, here I am. Let's get the show on the road. No, I did not change my clothes. These are my pajamas. I'm comfy today. Deal with it. Um, <laughs> today I wanted to talk to you guys about the importance of learning how to talk to people. If you're going to be in business, you need to learn how to talk to people. This being said, today we're going to talk about how to get better at public speaking. I remember back when I was in high school and I was super duper dreading a presentation that I had to brief the entire class on. There were probably a bunch of these, but this is the one that I'm going to latch on to today. I was sitting in class and I was dreading the moment that I had to go up in front of the entire class and talk about the topic that I had spent the past months researching. If you're like me, you probably had to go through a similar thing or are about to. And then I had a realization. While I was sitting in the class and all my other peers were going up in front of everyone and speaking on their topics, my mind was nowhere to be found. I was not at all in this classroom that I was sitting in. My mind was wandering off into a more beautiful place. I was daydreaming the entire time in one ear and out the other. I did not hear a single thing that they said while they were up there. So why was I so afraid to go up there myself? It doesn't make any sense. They're probably thinking the same exact thing when I'm on stage, I'm, I'm gonna say on stage, when I'm up front of everyone, when I'm on stage, as I was thinking when they were. It is what it is. You don't need to get inside your own head. This reminds me of another thing. No one cares. No one's paying attention to you. Do what you need to do. By the time that they pay attention to you, if you did what you needed to do in the first place, that being just put in the effort, you would have had so many reps of doing the actual thing that you would probably be good at it and maybe even enjoy it. I say maybe, but you probably will. Everyone enjoys things that they're good at. Usually. That's what I'm doing right now. These YouTube videos are by far the worst that I'm ever going to make in my entire life. If I stick to this and continue making these videos, these are going to be the worst that I will ever make. Quote that. But I'm putting in the effort now so that I can look back in the future and be like, damn, I came a long way. You can do the same thing when it comes to public speaking. Do that. I remember earlier on in my career, there was a point where something had broken and I had to present in front of the equivalent of the CTO of the company. Really quick, really quick, I swear. If you found value in this video and you feel like this is something that would solve a problem that one of your friends are having, please do me a favor and just share it to them. Just copy and paste it, send it to them. You can do it on like iMessage, Discord, whatever. It'll take two seconds. I'm really trying to grow this channel so that more people can learn the things that we weren't taught that we really need to be to be successful in life. If you could just do that for me, I would be so, so grateful. So great. So please, really quick, and we'll get right back to the video. Granted, I want to say, this dude is so important that you had to plan one to two months in advance to get 30 minutes of his time, and it was probably going to be delayed one or two times by a month each time. So like, when I was in front, it was terrifying by the time I actually got in front of him. But I prepared. And of course, as a man that values his time, as soon as I put my slides up on stage, then it goes directly in the order that they have the questions. Can we go to what happened? Cool, that's my first point. Can we go to what? Why it happened? Cool, that's my second point. Can we go to when it happened? Cool, that's my third point. All right, so then what do we do to fix it? You see how that works? Yeah. But this brings me to my next point. Preparation defeats anxiety. You can 1,000% be rid of all the anxiety in your body simply by memorizing and preparing properly. When I had to go up in front of the CTO, there was no way in hell was I going to flop. It, I was not going to let that happen. It wasn't an option. So what did I do? Rule number one, you tell them a story. The story is what the presentation is. You have the what happened, why it happened, when it happened, and how to fix it, or at least projections of how to fix it. That's all that matters. What happened? why it happened, when it happened, and how do we fix it. So once you make that story, memorize, memorize, memorize. Practice, practice, practice. Do you wake up in the morning and worry if you're gonna remember how to walk? No, you don't, because you do it every day. You have thousands of hours of walking experience. Do the same thing. If you put in those hours and you genuinely memorize it, and people say like the back of your hand, no, I want you to memorize it like you know what your lock code is on your phone. Nope. Memorize it like the lyrics to a Doja Cat song. There. Do that. If you memorize it like those lyrics, you will fly with fl you will soar with flying colors. Fly with flying colors. Shut up. So that's what I did. I memorized, memorized, memorized. If you want me to speak on how to speak more clearly, 
and how to actually talk to people, I can go into that. That's out of the scope of this video, but I did want to kind of let you guys know. I have a ton of experience doing that kind of thing as well. Let me know what you want in the comments. That's it. The real points I wanted to talk to today and really drill down were that learn communication skills. They will help you everywhere. Business, in your personal life, with your parents, and that's a big one. With your relationships, just learn, just learn communication skills. Number two, remember, when you are presenting in front of someone, practice, 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 build them a story. Those are the two things you need to do. You build them a story, and then you practice, practice, practice. Practice, practice, practice for hours. You literally outwork your anxiety. Quote that. That's about it. So, this is day 10. See you tomorrow.